Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books August 1st The Touch of God And Saul also went home to Gibeah, and there went with him a band of men, whose hearts God had touched. 1 Samuel 10.26 Down through the centuries, God has laid his hand upon men and women and called them to his service. From every walk of life they have come, some from the plow, others from tending sheep on the mountainside, still others from a prosperous business to give their time to proclaiming the gospel. When God calls, we ought to answer willingly. Jim was in the army and intended to make military service his career. On one assignment, he was quartered in a bunk next to a Seventh-day Adventist youth. Watching this fellow study his Sabbath school lesson aroused strange questions in Jim's mind, and he began to inquire what his mate intended to do when army service was finished. A friendship developed that took Jim to services on Sabbath, and soon he was baptized. Relating the incident later, he said, God used this young friend to touch my heart. Today, Jim is in the ministry. God uses various circumstances to indicate his call. If we neglect to respond, we do so at our eternal risk. Happy are they who recognize the touch of God and who are willing to follow where he leads the way. Do you ask how you may know what service God requires of you? The answer is to develop fully the talents God has given you, to do faithfully the small tasks near at hand, and to await God's leading providence. For those who are young, a Christian education is the best means of developing one's talents. Others who are older may seek means to help those near at hand. As surely as God has given us life on this earth, He has a place for us to serve Him. May we belong to that band whose hearts God has touched.